What's going on guys, Jota here bringing you another tutorial video of how to hack your 3DS so you can get homebrew working, you know, for all the PK hex and genning and randomizing and all kinds of manipulations that you can do on your 3DS. So, this is a great day because I am happy to announce that Smealum unlocked the next version of browser hacks. So now we have browser hacks working on 10.3 and I'm gonna show you how to get there. It's never been easier and it's now basically a two step process down from I think it was a 20 step process with two packs back in the day. So we've got two links in the description, well three links technically, three links in the description. One is a Dropbox link and the other is a browser link. There's an old version and a new version, depending on if you have the old 3DS or the new 3DS. For example, I'm working off an old 3DS XL, so I use the old link. If you're on a new 3DS, use the new link. So the first step is to download the Dropbox link files and add them to your 3DS. It's the boot.3ds file, along with a bunch of files to help you with various applications once you're in Homebrew, but that's for a different video. Most of them are for a different video. So once you have that, Go ahead and go to your browser, and I'm going to show you what the page looks like that you're trying to get to. It should look something like this. Ignore that the bottom screen's behind it. If you're on the old 3DS, you're going to the Spider 28 Hacks link here, and if you're on the new 3DS, you're going into the Browser Hacks Fright link here with a couple underscores in there. So I've got my bottom screen, and we're going to take a look here. So we've got HTTP colon slash slash yls8.mvall.com forward slash if you're on the old 3ds spider 28 hacks dot php and that should be all you have to do there might be a slider for me to click but we're just going to try this out 404 not found that doesn't seem right. Let me check here real quick. Let me check my link. Yls8.mdall.com slash 3ds. Hmm. Doesn't seem to. Oh, pfft, there it is. Derp to derp. Simple spelling error. And we're just going to let it load up. Terminated script execution. It goes to a yellow screen. And hopefully it'll go into the homebrew menu and we'll be good to go. Because I think that's all you have to do. And look at that. Look at that. Oh, and we're in. We are in. Beautiful. We have our eShop. We have our Iron Hacks installer. We have our Yeti 3DS, our Hans, our Menu Hacks Manager. All of that good stuff is here. Our save editors. Everything you need is preloaded on the Dropbox files that I have. So once again, I took the starter kit that Smealum has and added a few things to it that I've gotten from other sources. And that's what you have here. So be sure to click that thumbs up button if you haven't already. It could really use your love and really helps me out by doing so. As more methods come out for homebrewing, I'll be sure to report on them and give you guys quick tutorials of how to access them. And be sure to share this with your friends if it is applicable to them. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Joner, signing out. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.